You know, in the Bible, Jesus teaches that one of the most important commandments is to love your neighbor as yourself. In fact, outside of loving God, there is no greater commandment than to love your neighbor as yourself. Loving God is the most important commandment. The second most important commandment is to love your neighbor. So, when we come to doctrines like liberalism, it's no surprise that these doctrines take a little bit of the truth of Christianity and put it into their doctrine. Pretty much every world religion and every belief system would agree on some level with the foundation that we should love one another. Um, so what makes liberalism different than Christianity? What's the difference between Christianity and liberalism? Well, I think it's important that we recognize this because liberalism has crept its way into the church and a lot of the church doctrine you hear nowadays is the liberal message. So what's the difference in Christianity and liberalism? Well, liberalism teaches that we should love everyone, but it puts no importance on the basis of our actions. In other words, Basically, the liberal mindset is just love everybody, but there is no importance on abstaining from sin. There's no importance on repentance or that. So the difference between the liberal doctrine or maybe some of the doctrines we hear in other belief systems like Satanism, love everybody, but... Don't put any importance on sin. It actually is more important that you don't judge than the other, uh, than that you are um, calling out sin. And the doctrine of Jesus teaches us to love each other. You know, the Didache said, hate no man. Jesus even says, love your enemies. But Jesus never actually tells us to support people's sins. So the difference between the doctrine of Jesus and the liberal doctrine is Jesus teaches love and righteousness, while the liberal doctrine only is teaching love. There is no righteousness that is really important in this doctrine. So you could even say Jesus teaches love and righteousness, and liberalism teaches love and lawlessness. Um, and uh, so basically over here in liberalism, you've got everybody living in sin, holding hands and singing kubaya. And over here in Christianity, if, if they're doing it accurately, you have people trying to walk in holiness, holding hands and singing trust and obey. So that's the difference between the two doctrines. Uh, love is a foundational, important part of Christianity. And I don't want anybody to abstain from the importance of love in an attempt to try to avoid being like liberals. No, because any religion... If the foundation of that is not love, then it ain't going to do nothing more than just make you a hate-filled, judgmental person. Um, and although it is true that we should have a negative viewpoint towards sin, we don't want to just become a bunch of angry um, people with no basis of love. Like, for example, when I make a video and I appear to be angry towards the murderers, it isn't coming from a place of hatred towards those murderers. I don't even know who they are. It's coming from a place of love and compassion for the victims. Everything we do should be motivated by love. If you are preaching against abortion, for example, it should come from the love you have for the children that's being aborted. Um, and the love you have for God, of course, too, because he commands us to preach against it. So, you know... Um, that should be our motive. So, so love is a huge, important part of the Christian life, um, you know, and uh, we just need to recognize that. But we need to avoid going the direction of, like the United Methodist Church has, and so many other churches, where it's like um, all about, um, you know, it, it's all about love. But the thing is, they start to neglect the importance of God's other commandments, like. The only ones that matter anymore is love and don't judge, but they don't have any importance on any of the other things that God taught. So we want to avoid going that liberal direction because I truly believe this is going to be the doctrine that the Antichrist is probably teaching because 
the Bible describes the Antichrist as a man of lawlessness. Um, so most likely the Antichrist will probably be advocating for this, love everybody, but live a lawless life. So we need to recognize the difference between Jesus and the Antichrist. Jesus teaches love and righteousness, and the Antichrist is going to be teaching love and lawlessness. And that's how you judge whether the doctrine you're listening to is from God or not. God bless.